Welcome to another iTunes tutorial video from Sierra Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your music to your iPhone or iPod or iPad and do it using what is called the playlist feature. The advantage of using a playlist feature is it makes it very easy to decide which music you want to port to your iDevice first thing you must do is if you have version 11 of iTunes this is a little different than version 10 is you have to set it up to tell it how to synchronize your music we recommend that you have the sidebar view enabled there's a icon that will show up up here when you dock your iPhone if you do not have the sidebar view enabled and if you don't know how to do it uh, we have a tutorial video already online for version 11 that explains how to do that probably most of you have already updated to iTunes 11 this is iTunes 11.0.5.5 which was the latest version at the time of this recording so the first thing we want to do is select Sierra Tech iPhone is the name of our iPhone for obvious reasons. Scroll down and we want to check sync only, check songs and videos. If you want to do it manually, click your manually managed music and video selection. Anything we add to our playlist we're going to sync. So we come down here. Down here you'll see my playlist. If I scroll up, click on that and you'll see the playlist that I sync to. I'm going to show you how to add this playlist to your synchronization process so that music is added automatically. If I click on the playlist, and there's the apply, click on the playlist, you'll see the music that's in this playlist. Currently I have 431 songs. Now if you don't have a playlist, iTunes puts the default names in there, uh, create your own playlist first. You go File, New, Playlist. This is why we menu bar and the command bar or uh, sidebar view is very handy to do. We'll call it test. Now it's starting to sync before I do this so pause the video. Now that uh, it is finished syncing from the change we'll you can see I renamed test. So now what I want to do is go back to my music, click on the album you wish to transfer, you need to scroll this down, and you get a summary of the selections that are in there to index it into the playlist, click and drag and it shows you the number of songs that's in the album and drop it on the playlist of choice. Now we'll go back to the iPhone and we'll click music section and here I have selected not to sync the entire library, but selected playlist artist albums and genres. You also want to confirm that you've checked include voice memos. This will transfer from your iPhone to your computer your voice memos that you've recorded during the sync process. So it's a sync in both directions. A word of caution, if you switch your syncing methodology from entire music library to selected playlists, artists, and albums as shown, iTunes will give you this warning. 
that it's going to remove all existing music, movies, TV shows, books, tones, etc. from your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. And the syncing methodology will start using the newer technique that you've selected. So just be careful. And here you could see which playlist I have selected. Notice that test playlist is not visible. And the reason for this is I did not add any music to the test playlist. So until I do, it will not be visible item for the iPhone. Now I can press sync here or I can go right click and left click on sync there and you should see this start spinning and it's waiting uh, for sync to start so I'm going to pause the video while it's syncing it already went through contacts it's doing calendars a lot of times it pauses in the, the middle of syncing calendars I'm not sure why and this is not progressing now it's determining apps and there should be no apps to sync is determining tracks to sync. So this is when it looks at the playlist index since the playlist is selected here and compares it to what's on the phone versus what's in iTunes and it will update the phone accordingly. It's now saying it's waiting for changes to be applied. Now it's copying the music and I got this message <clears throat> there's a couple items that I did not carry over from a previous computer and that's why those PDFs are not getting transferred. Okay, what I just determined what it is copying is uh, voice memos that are on the phone. As you can see now we get a finishing sync message. I had several voice memos that needed to be copy to the computer. Bear in mind this is a two-way sync. So whatever voice memos you have on your phone, if the checkbox is selected then I'll, it will copy it to your computer. Now I'm going to demonstrate what the advantage is of using a playlist to select music on your iPhone. Start by selecting the music app and it's presently on artist. I'm going to choose playlist and let's say it's the month of December and I decide I want to listen to Christmas music. So I'll press Christmas iPhone and then I would hit shuffle and that will start the music playing. We hope this helps you in understanding how to sync music. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.